What's happening, everybody, and welcome to CFC Fan TV. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about an issue that I think we really do need to discuss, and it's something that I really hope Chelsea take on board. It is the brilliance of Ethan Ampadu. I am here in glorious Hampstead Heath, and I was having a walk through to just see you know, how I was feeling about things, and I think that we really do need to give Ethan Ampadu every opportunity to stake his claim for the first team. What position that should be? is something I want to talk to you about. Do you see him as a central midfielder in a defensive capability? Or do you see him more as a centre half, somebody that will mature into a Ricardo Carvalho type figure? I'm not quite sure what the answer is. For me, I quite like the idea of him at defensive midfield. And I think that we're very fortunate at the moment because we have some very exciting fixtures coming up where we should have the opportunity to allow him to flourish. It's, you know, in a week's time, we're going to be in Greece. And I think that is an opportunity for Ampadu. I think that we should be throwing him in that game because the atmosphere is going to be hostile it's going to be very very intense but it's an opposition that I think we have the capability of beating therefore we should throw Ampadu in he's been brilliant for Wales you know he's been man of the match in a couple of their games I know they didn't have the perfect result against Denmark but he still performed very well and with that in mind I think that we should give him an opportunity to do it for Chelsea equally we're going to be going to Anfield and Chelsea playing Anfield in the Car Carabao Cup we know that that's not a game that either club is going to take particularly seriously but for me going to, Chelsea, going to watch Chelsea versus Liverpool at Anfield is a game that we always want to win and therefore it will be intense and it will mean something when, when we're in the ground and I think that we should use that as another springboard to give a player of his calibre the opportunity to stake his case for the first team. I think that he's also going to benefit massively under Maurizio Sarri. Sarri is a player who loves to play the expansive game, Sarri ball, you know we know all this and Ethan Ampadu actually didn't make the cut for England when he was a kid because the, the criticism was ridiculously, and this will tell you all you need to know about the England setup, he, t he didn't take enough touches. So he's a player who likes to distribute the ball, get it moving, take one or two touches, keep, keep, the, ball, keep the ball moving, keep the ball ticking over. And that's why he didn't make the England setup. So I think that if we can get him playing under Sari in these big games that we have coming up, we really should make the most of it. And I think that in the future, he could be a Chelsea captain for a decade. I think that he really is that good. And I think it's very interesting now because for years, we've been talking about Ruben Loftus-Cheek, what a player he's going to be. And I think he's a very good player, Loftus-Cheek. I think he has everything in his locker. I think he can be anything that he wants to be. And I really do rate him. And I think he played admirably for Crystal Palace and has had some very good performances for England as well as, as, well as Chelsea. But I think Ethan Ampadu may now start making a stronger claim for a position in this side if we're going to start betting in a youngster ahead of Loftus-Cheek. I don't know if that's something that the manager will agree with. I don't know if you'll agree with it. For, for you, if you were picking our squad and you were going to give one youngster the opportunity to stake a case for the first team, would you give that position to Ampadu? Or would you give it to Ruben Loftus-Cheek? I am unsure. I think Loftus-Cheek has an awful lot to offer and I hope to see him play a lot this season. But I'm so excited by Ampadu. I think he really can be an incredible talent and I think he's exactly what we need. I think he has everything in his game, including that little bit of spite. You know, I remember he played a game uh, last year for us at home in the League Cup and after about 30 seconds got himself booked. And I think it's very good to see that. Just a little bit of an edge in his character and I think it bodes well for Premier League football. So, yeah, they're my thoughts on Ethan Ampadu. I'd like to see him in and about the first team, especially when we go to Greece next week. Do you agree with me or do you think that is nonsense and we should be blooding Loftus cheek and make sure that we're patient with Ampadu? Nah, let's get him in. Please guys do me a favour, let me know how you feel about that and if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and if you haven't subscribed please do it right now. Right, I've got to head off, I'm getting off Hampstead Heath and I will see you all on the next video. Go on your place.